Hello, welcome to the pa- part three. I mean, two. I'm I'm Jenny, and we're back to the Princess in Black. Chapter five. Death the go 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 boy was not part of the part boy. That would have been embarrassing. But the death but death was just a boy. Who took care of goats? He quite liked goats. They had honey brown eyes. They had lovely ears. They made they made lovely noises. Duff didn't like to. Duff didn't like goat eating monsters. A blue arm reached out the hole. It was not other one," said Duff. He picked up his crook. A big monster in injured. It was big. Master roared. It was loud. Duff dropped his crook. Crook. He knees shook. Ha- help! He crooked. In the distance, a pony neighed. Chapter six. The princess and black goat galloped into the goat pasture. A big blue monster was holding a goat in its paw. It opened its mouth. As wide it could go, which was very wide. Not so fast," said Princess in Black. Blackie galloped toward the big tree. The Princess in Black galloped a bench branch. She swung her pony's back. She landed in a tree. Why did you come here? Asked the princess in black. Eat goats," said Big Blue Monster. "You may not eat goats," she said. "Eat goats," hollered the Big Blue Monster. "You may not eat the goats," she said again. "Behave, beast!" The Big Blue Monster sat down. The goat. Near a small tree, it tore the tree from the ground. The princess in black did back black flip into the grass. She pushed with her st- stepper. It turned into the sap. The big blue monster roared and swung a swung a tree. Staff needed. The big, the princess in black, and the big blue monster waged battle. Princess punch, blacky, bump, bunk, horse swing, hop, tinkle tinkle little smash. It was luck. The battle would be quick. Duchess Wintertower was in the Princess Magnolia's castle. Her castle was real, real full of secrets. In in Chapley, the bloom closet, the Princess and Black hoped the Duchess wouldn't not snoop. Chapter Seven. The Duchess began to snoop. The Princess and Black. Towel was spotless. The windows were clear as glass. The touches were soft as swatches. It was almost too perfect. Something must be amiss. 
Let your sweet tower open a closet. Fairy pink dresses, perfect for a princess. Open drawers, white cover, and flower headbands. Bad, faded, and cursed, and cry, steel, bracelet. It was. Oh, perfect for a princess. That said, the Duchess. No one is this perfect. The Duchess was damned to uncover the a secret uh, in Princess Magnolia's castle. She just just had to look under. Under Chapter Eight, Duff, the Goat Boy, stamped into a tree stump. He always enjoyed the princess and web ninja skills, but today was instant something new. The princess in black nimbled him of Princess Magnolia. Without her mask, they might even look the same. The princess in black was same as height of as stuff. So did Princess Magnolia. The princess in black had a honey brown eye. So did Princess Magnolia. The princess in black had a sparkly tiara, just like Princess Magnolia. Could the two princesses be same? The same girl, but but Princess Magnolia wore glass slippers on weekdays. Princess Magnolia, afraid of snails, suddenly made Princess Magnolia sneeze. And at the moment, Princess Ma- Princess in Black was hop trying the monster. Buff laughed and silly. Ninja Tun. He knocked some popcorn. He went, waited for a part when he could cheer. There will be part three. Then goodbye.